Hello and welcome to Creating Cards with Alexandra. I'm Alexandra, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today we're going to make a card using the Winter Owls stamp and dies. And also an online exclusive embossing folder. This is called Leaf Falls. And this is online only. It's not in the catalog. So let's go ahead and make this card. So first I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine because we need to emboss our cardstock here. This is crushed curry cardstock. And this is four by five and a quarter. And we're gonna actually put this in to only emboss our cardstock partially and we really don't want that much maybe about a third of the cardstock okay so I'm going to kind of position it to where I want that image okay and then I'm just going to run this through Okay, and then that is what we're left with. Okay, so then I'll put this aside. We'll need this die cutting machine in just a minute. Okay, so then I have a piece of very vanilla scrap and I have gray granite and I'm going to stamp the image of my owl here on that very vanilla and I'll probably just stamp two just so I have it a lot of times when I have a piece of scrap and it's big enough for two I'll just go ahead and do the two just so I have one for later all right so let's go ahead and bring in that die cutting machine again And die cut this. All right, so there's our little snowy owl. Okay, and now we'll put our card together. So this is a piece of old olive. This is our eight and a half by five and a half, scored in the middle. I have a piece of pecan pie, and I've cut this at four and a quarter by two and three fourths. We'll layer that with crumb cake. This is three and three fourths by two and a quarter. And then this is a piece of very vanilla. This is three and a half by two. So we're gonna go ahead and take our gray granite and we're gonna just use our blending brush to kind of make a halo for our little owl. We're gonna put them in the corner here because we're gonna put our sentiment on here as well. Okay, so I think that is good. And then I have my pecan pie ink. And I will take the stamp set Sending Love and we'll put this up right there in the corner. And then I'm also going to take, I've already die cut our branch here and it kind of blended in with this this layering piece so i took my blending brush and i just put a little bit of color on here and randomly just so it's a little bit darker in spots 
Okay, so I'm gonna layer my pieces together. This is a big border, so it's a little bit different. Okay, we're gonna take our owl and pop him up, or her. And then I want my branch on here. So I'm just gonna flip this over and put just a little bit of liquid glue down. I thought this would make a nice manly card just because of the colors. I chose the colors obviously kind of for fall but after I made it, I thought, oh, this would be a nice manly card or a sympathy card even. Just because it's a little more subdued. Okay, so then we're going to bring in, this is our ribbon from the holiday catalog. And this comes with a set, or as a set, I should say. It actually comes with this copper ribbon and then this large ribbon here. So we're going to wrap this around our cardstock. Just like that. So I'll just flip this over. Adhesive. This is one of the ribbons my cat Pippi got a hold of. See those little teeth marks in there? I swear that cat gets into everything of mine. I have to keep my craft room door closed when I'm not in it. All right, so that'll just stick on the back like that. Okay. And then I think we'll pop this one up. Okay, so then we'll just place that on there. And then we'll adhere this onto our old olive card base. Oops. Okay, and I just kind of wanted to give this a little bit more something. So I took my Wink Estella. And I just went over the owl and these little little feathery pieces here. Okay, and then I took this and also gave it a few wax splatter the Wink of Stella. And then also I took my Stampin' Write marker. This is basic gray and just gave it a little spritz. That you just take the long tip here, kind of flick it against your cap. Okay. And that is it. That's our pretty little card. Of course, you can put the white layer in here if you'd like to. This is a little bit darker, so there we go. That's our card for today. Quick and easy using that embossing folder it's just so pretty so thank you so what so much for taking your time to stamp with me today i appreciate you watching my tutorials i will link all the items used today in the description below which if you click on those that'll take you right over to my shopping page so i appreciate you using those links if you enjoyed this video please give me the thumbs up 
comment and subscribe, or even share it with a friend. That really helps me out in YouTube land. So thank you so much. Have a joyful day. Bye-bye.